I want to welcome you to today's daily devotion. We've been talking in this segment with uh, Dr. Walt Larimore about health. And uh, we've come to the place where, really where we're talking about the deepest issue, and that is the spiritual issue and how that impacts our health. And so, Walt, thank you again for mm -hmm. being here. And I want to ask you, for a man, what are some of the deep heart issues that a man has that affects his health? Yeah, you know, for the vast majority of men, it's to learn how to love and be loved. Hmm. Uh, a person asked the master, you know, what are the two greatest yeah. principles? And he said, number one, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your mind. And number two, to love others as, as yourself. It's centered on that, on that principle of love. The Apostle Paul talked about faith and love and hope. And the greatest of these is, is wow. love. And so loving God involves spending time with Him. You know, as a, as a busy businessman, I always wondered, how do I appropriate that scripture to pray without ceasing, to always pray? For me, that's just talking through God throughout the day. If I get ready to go into a meeting, as I grab that door handle, I'll just ask myself, what's God doing here? Mm -hmm. What is it that He wants me to do? It, it may be bring my professional competence. It may be bring compassion in. It may be asking the right question or, or appropriating one of His pr principles. But learning to talk to God throughout the day and learning to begin and end each day listening to Him. And as I said before, that's involved in reading His Word. It's involved for me in memorizing His Word, hiding it in my heart. Man, to love God with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind. To bring Him to work with me, to bring Him into my family with me, to bring Him into, into my neighbor's relationships. So, so love God. And then to love others as myself. How do I give myself away? Now I sell my time at work, but how do I give myself away? For example, with many men, learning how to volunteer mm -hmm. can be life-changing for a yeah. man and for his family. It may be through a local ministry, it may be through a food bank, it may be serving uh, dinners at a soup kitchen, it may be an overseas short-term mission trip, and I recommend that yeah. to every family. Take your kids overseas. Sammy, you do yeah, that, right. you travel internationally. It changes you, so love God, and love others. If you can do that, it begins that process of healing you in every measurable way. You know, my father, as I mentioned in a previous um, interview here, wasn't in the home, but my earliest memories he was, mm. when, 10 years and younger. And I have never doubted my father's love mm. because when I was a kid, he played basketball with me, he played baseball with me. Uh, and when I became a Christian later on in life, I didn't have a hard time understanding that God loved mm -hmm. me. But I've found many of my friends have had that hard time because of that. Now, but if, talk to me a little bit about what the future might bring if we begin to live in this kind of way to the future generations of, of loving God and loving others and how that would impact our children, grandchildren and great grandchildren. Yeah, I mean the Bible could not be more clear as we begin to make this investment in our physical, emotional, relational, spiritual health, that spreads out into every sphere in which God has given us influence. And every man has those spheres of influence. The Bible tells us that not only does that affect others around us, but it affects the generations that follow us. You mentioned your, your daddy, and I, I tell men that there's no greater gift that you can give your kids than time with yourself. And our kids got have plenty of critics. Yeah. They've got plenty of people beating them down. We need to be our kids' best cheerleader. I tell, I tell dads, the ABCDs of being a good dad are this. A is affirming your kids. I let my kids know, there's nothing that they can do that will make me love them more. And there's nothing they can do that will make me love them more less. Their daddy loves them. I affirm them. I find them doing good things and affirm that. The B is the blameless love, that I love you no matter what. And the C is connecting with them. That's spending time with them, connecting them to good friends, connecting them to their creator. But that softness of fatherhood has to be balanced with the D, and that's discipleship and discipline. It's teaching our kids that there are consequences for wrong decisions, that there are mistakes that have to be paid for. It's not just disciplining them, 
but also discipling them, to realize that the person that's in charge of discipling our family isn't our pastor. Mm -hmm. It's the father who's responsible for discipling the wife and the kids. So those ABCDs will make a generation for generations to come, not just in our family, but in our community. And I think, Sammy, in our country. This is really good stuff. Thank you, Walt, so much. Mm. And I hope that you will take the opportunity to, to get a copy of 10 Essentials to Healthy Living. Um, this book has already been a blessing as you've heard on these devotional times, and I think it'll be a blessing to you and to your family. Uh, so let me encourage you to get that, and we'll look forward to sharing some more things tomorrow.